it's Aaron here. Today I'm going to talk about doing three screens on one computer using an integrated graphics card and one third party PCI Express or PCI card. So as you can see we have three separate windows up on these three screens meaning that I've not duplicated anything and just to show you that it works slide from one to the other. Okay. For starters you need three video connections, physical connections. Right now I'm using one integrated and two for my video card running on the PCI Express slot. Alright, so we're going to look at the back of the computer here. What you're going to need is a graphics card to plug into your PCI or PCI Express and your integrated port. So the integrated one is running on the middle monitor simply because the resolutions are different and the odd man out is in the middle. Right now I'm running the integrated video card and the PCI video card are from the same vendor and I did that for ease of driver. I have had a problem in the past where I have done NVIDIA and ATI and you get blue screens because they're running two separate drivers. I'm not saying it can't be done but you're going to run into some problems every once in a while. So this is completely an NVIDIA setup. We have a graphics card 210, uh, NVIDIA GT210, I believe so, running these two monitors here. And the one in the, vid in the middle is a NVIDIA 7025. So in order to do this, in order to tell the computer to use your integrated video card, you do have to head over to the BIOS. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer and show you a bit of the BIOS and how that works and how to get your computer to use the integrated graphics card instead of just defaulting to the PCI Express or PCI card. So when your computer boots up, I'm hitting the delete key because that is the proper key to enter my motherboard BIOS. But you'll want to enter your motherboard BIOS. I'm going to head over to our chipset. This is an ASUS motherboard in our south bridge. So we have our primary primary graphics adapter that is our IGP first, then PCI, then PCI Express. That's the order it finds things. If it was in this order, PCI Express, PCI, IGP, then our integrated graphics card would not work. But since it finds the integrated first and then the software picks up on the PCI Express, then we get all three functioning at the same time. I would also recommend to maintain a smooth graphics experience to bump up the RAM on the integrated video card simply because the third party graphics card you put in is probably going to be a little bit more beefy than your integrated one. So we'll just head over to the exit and we will exit and save. And that's all there is to it guys and you boot using your three screens. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see cool tech stuff, head on over to my channel. And uh, I've got some other cool stuff heading down the pipe. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe if you want to be automatically notified of what I'm up to. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.